let's say going in. <laughs> Hi there, my name is Marvel and welcome to Maximum Chips, my YouTube channel on uh, woodworking, one guy putting together his shed and his workshop and all, anything else that sort of comes along along the way. Uh, thanks for watching. Today we are going to be uh, doing some uh, putting together a blackboard um, on the uh, shed uh, door. As you can sort of see, I did one last weekend and it came up great but didn't even think about putting it together as a project for the channel uh, until I was actually taking the tape off. So uh, the kids loved it, as you can see. They've been putting some stuff up there. So what, the stuff that I'm using today, Juliet and I have already been cleaning down the, the tin. We just used a couple of the um, sugar soap cleaning wipes, uh, marking it up with some blue tape from 3M, just some painter's tape. Uh, to start off with, we're going to put a primer down at some rust guard. This is actually some White Knight rust guard, so it's primer for this sort of tin once you've cleaned it up. Uh, pretty much any sort of metal primer uh, will do, but this is the one from White Knight. And we're using that because we're using the White Knight ch black chalkboard paint. Um, the, when I was doing the top bit, it pretty much did exactly the 250mm tin with two coats. Once that's done, just to jump ahead of ourselves, um, once you've painted the blackboard and got your two coats of paint, I'm um, going to be using uh, Crayola sidewalk chalk. So it's nice, just big chunky chalk. The reason I'm using this one, because it's nice and easy to sort of get a good grip on it. And so when you season the blackboard, and you do that with your blackboard, uh, once you finish the paint, you don't start drawing on it straight away. Otherwise, that hello will be there forever. You won't be able to get it clear sort of thing. So when you season a chalkboard, once you get it ready, you cover the whole thing, wipe it down, and then you're ready to go, and then you can sort of do all that sort of stuff. And then we're painting today, not using a roller. You could use a roller. A little bit wary of um, excess paint with the roller, I suppose, because I know that using these tins, I'm only going to literally have just enough to do the job. Um, so I'm just sort of using a, a standard, what's that, a one inch, one quarter inch brush. Um, and this is oil based paint, so you will need some sort of thing like turps to, uh, to, to clean it out. So, so yeah, again, just some uh, 3M blue painter's tape. Uh, and you can sort of see there, I basically just kept the edge of it along the edge of the, the border of the thing. And then did a 45 degree uh, cut across there. That was kind of necessitated by part of the door that's over here. Um, and then once I sort of had to do it there, I thought I might as well do it the whole lot of them and just give it that nice little effect. So, yeah, it looks good. And if you're into Battlestar Galactica, then you get a little um, thing out of that too. So, of course, our entertainment today is brought to you by Juliet. <laughs> just suddenly drawing attention to you, is it? Right, so that job is done with the painter's tape. Uh, main thing I suppose there is just to make sure that you uh, make sure that the inside edge especially is nice and flat and pressed down properly otherwise the paint would just sort of bleed underneath the tape which is um, uh, not what you're really going for. Uh, you want to do a good job but it doesn't have to be perfect so we'll go and get some uh, primer sorted out, give it a nice good shake and um, yeah, get on with some painting. Been stirring up, shaking up the the primer tin for the last minute or so. Just giving it a good stir. It's not too bad today, but definitely last week when I um, freshly opened it up, um, you could definitely feel that it had settled. I had a look at this and it said it can be applied by brush between 10 and 30 degrees. So we should be okay. Um, it says to give it a minimum of four hours before painting over. But yeah, basic, basic sort of painting. Cutting. You can hear my next door neighbour's building the crap out of his, his trailer. He's trying to flatten his trailer top that he's been building now for a month or so. Um, yeah. That's <laughs> just Adam trying to sort this out. So. Let's get into this. So, uh, mineral turpentine, turps, 
not quite sure what they call it in the States, but yeah, paint thinner, brush cleaner, polish remover, that sort of stuff. It's only a couple of bucks a bottle. So just using half a jar of that to soak my brush in overnight. This brush has done a few jobs now, so. I actually don't know whether brushes are supposed to last forever or if you look after them they last forever, but or whether it's one of the things you sort of use them a few times and then chuck them out. I like to think that you can sort of use them over and over again. So yeah, I mean this is already touch dry. Um, but like I said, if you wanted to paint it during the day again, you give it about four hours. Uh, if you're using water-based paint, you give it a 16 hour, obviously overnight. But yeah, we're using oil-based uh, blackboard paint, so it would be ready to go in four hours time, but that's gonna be around about 6.30 would be cold enough by then it's currently 20 degrees so um, Yeah, we'll just let it dry uh, Itself and then hit it with the first coat of blackboard paint sometime tomorrow So that's it. We'll see you then <laughs> All right, so day two we have uh, Yesterday obviously painted the cleaned and painted the walls with our primer and so we're just getting the chalkboard paint ready again. Again, we're just using the White Knight chalkboard paint. It's about $16 for a 250ml can, which should do all these four panels. All set? Yeah. So, same again. Using the brush again to sort of not waste so much, because again, it's going to be fairly close getting it all done. And we'll just go ahead and paint the four panels. Hey, this is day three of the blackboard, putting on the second coat of the actual blackboard paint today. So it's about four o'clock on Monday. Um, remember we started on Saturday morning and then did the uh, first blackboard, blackboard paint coat uh, yesterday about three o'clock, 3.30. Um, it's around about quarter to four now. <coughs> and it's about 20 degrees, it's been a nice day, so the paint, uh, the sheet metal's nice and warm, so um, should get, uh, get a nice dry coat. And then tomorrow afternoon we'll um, season it with some chalk, which is always the most important bit actually. much worked out perfect there literally wasn't another drop of paint left in that tin so while the paint's still wet we're going to rip this um, tape off while the while the paint's uh, still wet um, it just avoids that problem of when the paint does dry out say tomorrow um, if you try to tear it off then you've got a fair chance that you're going to sort of tear some of the paint uh, along with it whereas if you do it now but yeah you'll get a nice clean edge so We'll do that now and then um, pretty much clean up. 3M blue tape comes off nice and easy too. I've used some cheaper stuff in the past and seriously wasn't worth wasting the extra, uh, saving the, the dollar or the 50 cents, whatever it was that I saved. This stuff comes off nice and clean. Doesn't rip in half as you sort of go along it's just one nice one nice long continuous pull. Um, so yeah what we're gonna do now is season the chalkboard this is uh, probably the most important part of um, putting together your own chalkboard what you don't want to do is start writing on the black paint because when you go to wipe it off that image will sort of always be there it doesn't wipe off completely unless you season uh, it properly how do you season it? Pretty simple. You grab some chalk. Uh, I like using this stuff, which comes out of this uh, sidewalk chalk box. You can pick that up for like five dollars. And so, the reason I like this is it's just easy to hold on to. You can use it obviously with just regular chalk. Uh, I always just find it slips and falls on. So you just rub it on its side. Just make sure it gets a nice even coating. Or
that's pretty much as is. Nice even coating. Just use the side, up and down, side to side. You don't have to paint the whole thing entirely white, obviously. Um, and then just rub it down with a cloth. So now we're pretty much good to go. We can uh, write whatever we want on it now. Bit of a shadow there, but that'll get better as we go along um, and use it. Um, so yeah, we'll do the other panels and then this uh, chalkboard's pretty much ready to go for the kids. Yep. Right, cool. So, we are done. You can sort of still see that it's leaving a bit of a shadow there, so didn't work out quite as well as what I had hoped sort of thing. Hopefully that'll sort of sort itself out as the kids use it over and over again. So, I hope that's helped. Um, that's how we I've been putting together my chalkboards. Um, hope you've gotten something out of it. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel, Maximum Chips. Got lots of videos lined up to do, uh, and plenty in the can that we just haven't published yet. So um, yeah, hopefully you find something useful in the channel, and um, I'll catch you next time. Cheers. Hello. What was that? I'm not allowed to check. Oh, okay.